वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट नो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स बेसिकली डील्स विद द टोटल इंटरनल एनर्जी यू और समटाइम ऑल्सो इन सम बुक्स इट इज रेफर्ड एज ई दिस इज टोटल इंटरनल एनर्जी दैट इज सम ऑफ ऑल द पॉसिबल फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी present in any system in a system let's say from uh, if i have taken a box full of water then the sum of all the possible uh, kinetic energy rotational energy translational energy vibrational energy thermal energy bond energy all the possible type of energies infinite type of possible energies are there the total energy is called total internal energy fine and but there is one way by which we can change this internal energy there actually two ways in which we can change the internal energy if we want to change the kinetic energy we don't have to just increase the speed or we have to increase the speed but that can be done by the help of heat heat energy the energy is transferred in the form of heat so total energy total internal energy of the system can be changed by giving heat to the system or by taking heat from the system okay there is another way internal energy can be changed with the help of work if i take the bottle and start shaking it that means i am doing work on the system because of my work the the motion of molecules is increasing that means the total internal energy increasing this kinetic energy is also part of total internal energy or i can take the work from the system and for doing that work system has to use its internal energy so internal energy can be changed the change in internal energy is the so can be done in two way by heat or by work so actually whatever work i do is convert into two parts some of its that is w is equal to u minus q that this means or q is equal to del u minus w that means whatever heat is given to the system that is converted into two part first part is used to increase the internal energy and second part is converted into work or whatever work we do it's a large part of that work is lost in the form of heat and the remaining part is convert is used to increase the energy of system and this is nothing but first law of thermodynamics that means it is not possible it is technically impossible to convert the entire amount of work into internal energy or energy some amount of it would be lost in the form of heat now if somehow i am not taking any work from the system i am not doing any work on the system that means work is zero in that case the internal energy change is equal to heat that means whatever heat i am giving would be converted into internal energy directly and if it is isothermal process that means del u is equal to 0 in that case whatever heat is given to the system will be converted into work and work done will be converted into heat fine and if it is an adiabatic system that means heat is 0 in that case whatever work i do will be converted directly or will be used directly to just increase the internal energy of the system these are the different ways by which the first law of thermodynamics can be explained i hope things were clear to you don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of chemistry